Chilling, living life, ah, working it out, business, school, life. Ah, that's the way. Know. That's the way it goes. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> well, we've got ourselves a beautiful semifinals coming up. Oh yeah, Revo versus Bulldog. Versus Side two. Frank. Yes. Frank still needs to join the voice and then we're gonna do a lag test let's see, mm -hmm. let's see. so frank probably just uh setting his stuff up he'll be here any minute revel bushes bold okay there we go there mm -hmm. we go yo frank snarks here no one told me about this i'm leaving <laughs> <laughs> Frank, did you get a new mic or something? Um, no, no, just, uh, no. <laughs> no, all right, it sounds a little bit different. So how are you doing, man? Long time no see. It has been, uh, it's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Indeed. It has been a while. That's good, dude. But we're still good, right? Yeah. This is well, a good. test. Frank, come on, who's your money on? Be honest. I don't, I don't know. Bulldog is very, very um, scary. It, well, it, it's if, if he's been playing, yeah. If you know, if he's been AFK, <laughs> who knows? Uh, Bad I luck. Don't, know, don't uh, have fun. Look at Revo. <laughs> Bad luck. Don't have fun. All right, this is a lag test, but yeah, you're right. You know, Bulldog when when he was on the rise he was on the rise man it's like every week he went yeah, up yeah. a league uh don't know how much he's been playing lately rev on the other hand i've seen him you know a few qms a few this lately he has been putting in a bit of work mm. and and he did destroy matt the other day so did he really i was wondering how that was gonna go he destroyed him huh yeah 4-1 hmm. or something like that hmm. was he playing allied or yuri i'm pretty sure he was playing allied Hmm. Interesting. So maybe well, Bulldog might have some some trouble here. Indeed. No, either way, neither of these guys are going to be beating Pop Pops in the finals. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but Papa Papa is not a medium player, boy. So <laughs> say, say what you want, but uh, that's that's my opinion. Well, here's the thing that you know they let Papa join last last intermediate tournament, and he did not win. Sure, 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 sure. So I guess sure. uh, Rebel said, you know. If he didn't win, it's fair to let him join. I yeah, it makes sense to me. I'm you know, just my opinion. I, I don't see him. <laughs> I don't see Papa Face as as an intermediate level player. That's oh for sure, for sure I agree. Uh, but I wasn't invited to the intermediate tournament. You I don't won last time. Yeah, I won. Well, I won. You're generally just tournament. not invited to things. <laughs> you're probably used to that. Oh, all right, all right. I get it. Let me just explain the bracket real quick. We have one of the semifinals coming up, Revo versus Bulldog. And as you can see, the other semifinals will be Viper versus Papa. And we're ready to go. Alrighty, let's do this. Revo versus Bulldog. AVA, by the way, Frank. AVA is probably the hardest uh, matchup, right? Thanks, Dylan. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I missed that. Player defeated. Um, AVA is so hard. Like, there's so many levels you can get on AVA, right? There's the, there's the simple, you know, anti-air Rockies and tank groups, right? And then there's the split Rockies, split tanks, split anti-air, and and that's like already six controlled groups, including the jets. That's seven or eight control groups. Like, a good allied player needs to do so much. Yeah, allied versus allied is probably the most demanding. I would describe it. Um, demanding. It's the fastest yeah. pace. There's the more the most variety of units. 
Um, there's just more you got to do faster. Um, that being said, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. I saw, we saw Revo as France, but it was just for the lag test. I thought France would have been very interesting. Uh, France is very, very solid choice in Allied versus Allied. Um, but you can't ever argue with infinite free troops. Now, can you, boys? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Endless free, free, free units. Hmm. It's a good choice for going for America. Bulldog also went with America, and I believe the match versus Linux. He went France on hack freeze. Really? And he did versus Linux's uh, Yuri, I believe. Ah, uh, all right. That's just a little Yuri. different. Mm -hmm. It's a little different. Yep. All right. So, build orders. Mm. Bulldog going with the second War Factory before AFC. Revo, on the other hand, going with the AFC first. Yeah, AFC. No second rep from Revo yet. So, Frank, if you go AFC first, right, you've got to use that first power drop early. You've got to, like, you know, do something early or... or Otherwise, you know, there's no reason for it, right? Exactly. Oh, we're seeing a seal. We're seeing an IFV going across the map without the seal. <laughs> a few Rocketeers out for Bulldog. Uh, okay, that V is now heading back to base. One Grizzly heading in. Uh, what's in that, uh, in Bulldog's IV? Did he make a seal as well, or is that a GI? I don't think it's a seal. I didn't hear the column card, so it's probably a GI gonna try and snipe this seal or something. Let's see. That's GI. Yeah, oh, so the seal get the life seal. is useless. Yeah, seal life is useless versus... On the right hand side pushing, not gonna get anything done here. Too many Rocketeers, too many tanks. So okay, the seal is still alive though. Puts him in the other IV. I think Revo's build is a lot better here. Um he's just he's next to Or and he's teched up. However, he's heavily out rocketeered, so there's a lot of air boys out right now. And Bulldog has no reason other than to send them to the other side of the map, and he's not doing that right now. This could be a nightmare if these Rocketeers were on the other side of the map. What are they doing? Well, on the one hand, on the other hand, you know, Bulldog can't chill because he's got way more miners, he's got a better eco, so I guess he doesn't feel the need to push, does he? Okay, so th this is intermediate tournament power drops that we're seeing on our screens here. Don't don't drop them there, boys. They're gonna get mopped up every time, boys. <laughs> Unless uh, you get lucky and they aren't noticed, and then they'll just Unless wipe you out your lucky. entire... And then they'll kill your entire base! <laughs> <laughs> and we have the seal coming in on top. I don't think Bulldog sees it. Yeah, so the seal is coming in here at the top. Uh, what's it going to get? What's it going to get? AFC. Gets the AFC. Gets, Gets the, the War Factory, Factory as well! Oh. But it space Rebels about to lose his War Factory as well. Two IFEs. Trying to defend here, and on the left, Bulldog is pushing in as well, but he has no AFC and uh, War Factory. Revel down, only an AFC teched up as well. Uh, oh, Maybe he yeah. Rush. I don't know, he's, he's getting... Ooh, th those Rocketeers could die for some stuff. Revel has to this sell be game game these Rockies. This is it. That's game. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, air and AVA, that is something you really want to watch. If your opponent makes that many Rocketeers, you'd better be ready. Well, the War Factory gets up just in time. Can you get the Rocketeers out? Power plant's ah, gonna be focused yeah, down. Getting a little low power, going for the War Factory. Not gonna be enough. If it goes out with perfect micro, he might be able to clean this up, but he loses the War Factory. And he's about to lose that. Alright, no, he does micro it away a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is over. Look, has 10k. Letting up those Rocketeers. On. Elite IFV could do some work. Oh, he got it. Oh. Okay, <laughs> This is Rax. It's over. No, it's over. War Factory's back down. He's going to work on his Air Force Command. Uh, Bulldog has 12k as well to splash. And yeah. that's Allied versus Allied in a nutshell, you know? Like, things... Uh, <laughs> think you're completely winning, and then pff, you're not. Um, yeah. yeah, Rebels Mirage is get cleaned up at the top, and these Rocketeers go uncontested, do whatever the hell they want. He's even sending two Rocketeers back to his base to deal with that para drop. Uh, as three more continue to make sure Revel stays down. So, yeah. GG. Good first game. I mean, you, can't, you cannot build a War Factory without the barracks, right? So, if yes, Bulldog uh, keeps taking that barracks down, then there's no hope for uh, Revel. Defeated. And Revel calls GG, and it's 1-0 to Bulldog. Yeah, 
Um, that was kind of what I expect the entire series to be. Just uh, whoa, there's anybody's 17, game. Yeah, 17k on Bulldog channel points, zero yeah. on Revel. That just hurts. No, no, 30 channel points. I think of that. 70k versus 30. Wow! All right, yeah, this, is, this is a very winnable series for Bull, for uh, for Rebo. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he won this, um, but I think he just needs to uh, stick to his game plan, try to go for the strategical play, and just defend uh, defend Bulldog's nonsense, and just uh, you know just prolong the game. Just try to. Oh. Okay, Revo changing to Yuri, Bulldog changing to Iraq. The super weapon is on. And yeah, so Frank, they, they did in this tournament that Allied versus Yuri Super Weapons are off. Okay. Yeah. Um, makes sense. Uh, definitely don't want to play against Yuri with uh, Super Weapons on as allies, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. All right. So pretty, you know, happy for the Yuri player that they start next to the Oils. Uh, it's always annoying to try and escort your uh, engineer to the oil as the Yuri player. So Revo should be happy with these starting positions. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. This is uh, Revo's favorite map also. Oh, really? Yeah, it is. I believe he told me that a few days ago. That I did not know. Well, this is... Yeah, it's, he's Yuri as well, which is interesting because... Um... I always perceive this as a quick tech mirage map, mm. and Mr. Uh, Revo is a quick tech mirage player if I've ever seen one. Mm -hmm. But he's sure. decided to go Yuri here. I wonder what his reasoning is there. Because your gem pass is kind of far away from you. Um, just a new follow. Just a big red, red exclamation point for your opponent to attack, and then a beacon there. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what his plan is here. Yeah, speaking of which, I don't know if any of you guys have seen Legends uh, 1 before last stream where he faces Woody and Woody has mastered Yuri to a level where he is unbeatable. It is insane. Yuri looks impossible, <laughs> Frank. It's just like... Uh, I mean, the last time I saw he uh, he, was, he was like dropping games and stuff, the Legend, but uh, I haven't seen much since then. He's been playing no, no. Yuri and it's just, getting, it's just getting a little over the top now. Yeah, it's yeah. like if Yuri was ever considered overpowered, Woody knows how to abuse right. it to its maximum level, man. Yeah, if, only, if only we could get this guy to play SFJ. He actually said... Things we would see. What did he say? Uh, like after the semester? Sometime. He, he did... I have to look at WeChat to see exactly when, but he did promise he'd learn SFJ and play it. Yeah, I believe he, he said he was going too, back so. uh, to school uh, for some months now, and then afterwards, maybe in December, I believe he said? Wait, like that, yeah. wait, wait, oh, we'll have to keep him on this, speed yeah. dial and hold it to hold it to him. Mm -hmm. And I must question this opening here for Bulldog. Opening up with a dr I, I take it back. I guess the drone versus the brute to anti scout makes sense. Um, early Rhino is to put on the pressure here, but he's not getting anything done. Um, yeah, and it's just, uh, it's five miners to four, right? Yeah, he may want to just make another miner from his war factory. <clears throat> just go straight to battle lab here. Ah. Uh not the best micro out of Revo there. He definitely could have picked up one of those Rhinos for free. Uh, with a Magnetron. That's unfortunate. But yeah, so Bulldog already has the Desolator out. Uh, and again, on Poltergeist, because you start with the gems and the oil, you can go a little bit less minus. Preemptive Psychic Tower. Interesting. And wow, Revo is bold. He makes another miner out of his War Factory as he techs up. Bulldog teched up as well. Uh, Revo going up the top. Bulldog coming in the bottom here over deciding to retreat to defend his base. All right, so this is a very critical time window uh, in this matchup where things can start to snowball fast. Um, you know, is, the, is that first Iron Curtain timing going to just wipe out your entire army for free, or are you going to be able to get something done before that happens? It's a pretty awkward time for Yuri here this next minute and 20 seconds or so. But you know, once once Yuri, I think I guess Yuri wants to establish a, a base, so to speak, as as thoroughly throughout the map as he possibly can, prolong the game and just try to argue that his super weapons are better. 
Well, at the end of the day, I feel like Yuri's superpower is, and again, this is totally what I've seen from Woody's abuse of it, is if you have a grinder and a war factory, right, then it doesn't matter what the IC destroys, a mastermind will come out in time to just make sure you can't do any damage to the Yuri's base Ooh, at all. Loses all I, which is why you want your base spread out as much as you want to have as much base presence throughout the entire map sure. as possible. For sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. MCVs, you know, spread out as far as you can. All you need is a war factory and a grinder, and there is nothing a Soviet player can do, really, if you're pumping out those masterminds. Right. It is it is a terrible design, if I must say so myself. Um, <laughs> but that's 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 the that's is the goal of Yuri, is to get the grinders in the key locations. Or just get that critical damage with the Yuri Prime or, or discs or something. Um, and the Soviet wants to snowball, hit that first Iron Curtain as soon as possible, take out all the value units, then nuke IC, nuke IC, nuke IC, nuke IC, but uh, the Yuri just wants to prolong, 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 prolong. Yeah, alright, so uh, Bulldog is heading in the top here, gonna try and get something done. That drone is gonna get in, gets in the Mastermind, loses a Miner. Eh, I don't think he cares about that Miner. Yeah, Robo is doing pretty solid economically. He does have both super weapons. He has three war factories. Bulldog has one super weapon and two war factories. Uh, one would argue that Revo is in a stronger position. Although you know, Bulldog does have a decent army, but with three war factories, Revo should be able to outproduce him pretty quickly. And again, there he comes. This is a huge threat here. Yeah, and Bulldog's this gonna push. Potentially... Bulldog's gonna push. Interesting. Uh, yeah, this is going to go to Rebo here. The the primary target is this B Lab IC combo. Yeah, this you got to die for it. B Lab, a Yoinker Doodles, and the goodies. And I see Bulldog is, instead of pushing, is retreating. So Bulldog is going to lose. Yeah, and, and that is never a good sign uh, when you see that. Uh, that was that was some hesitation there by Bulldog. He went across the map to Rebo's base. Then he went, came all the way back. Then he went all the way to Rebo's base. Then he came all the way back again. He was not sure what to do there. Um, yeah. So and he's going to have to fix that, get his head in the game. Yeah, and now Revo sending those brutes down the bottom. More troops coming in for Revo all the time. These discs, a huge threat as... Bulldog is forced to pump flak tracks and not pump tanks. A uh, bit of terrible tank control out of Revo there. But he is taking out these flaks slowly. Well, a little careless, this. but he, the, the, uh, the damage has been done here. Um, he's just gonna do a little bit more with the brutes, wait for his uh, psychic dominator, kill everything else that matters with that. Um, he's gobbled up all the money on the map here, hasn't he? Yeah, and with four war factories, you know. Right. Bull Bulldog down to one. Revo literally only making discs. Not sure about that choice. Uh, just one mastermind. Oh, as the Dominator oh. comes down and Bulldog's army becomes Revo's army. Oof. And that's mm -hmm. it. That, that's uh, that's a issue. win for Revo. Yep. And, yeah, definitely, uh, uh, definitely gulping a little bit here. If I'm bulldog, this this did not go well at all. This was very one-sided. Indeed. And again, it's come. It came down to two things. I think it was like you said, hesitation, right? You know, you're gonna make a move, make it. Know what you're gonna do in what situation. You can't go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and not to get anything done. You gotta make it. You got Yeah, yeah. You can't hesitate. If you hesitate, it doesn't matter what level you're playing at. Yeah, it's not. It's not good. Yeah. And uh, the second is, is Yuri's suicide ability, right? Because Yuri can just go all in, lose his entire army. You come to make him face the consequences. Psychic Tower, Mastermind, boom. You need to back off until your next IC. Right, right. Yeah, You need super weapons to get anything done versus a Yuri base. Let's, let's be fair. Um, Indeed. Oh, we got Steve we... in the chat. Steve, Steve and Aixa Zasulan in the chat. Mm -hmm. Look, look at... Bebo uh... with the... Uh... Standard victory P, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's probably not even peeing. He's just, he's probably... he's just, he's just <laughs> in the bathroom fist pumping, like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that was, a, you know, that was a nice win. It was pretty, pretty clean. Yep.
dealt with the early game pressure. Bada beat, bada boop. Good advantage yeah, of all the so... mistakes. He was in yeah. control the entire game, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let me let me just fix you, Doofus. It's one one at the moment. Oh yeah, thank you, bro. Sure thing, man. Dorado. All right. Dorado descent. Now, last intermediate tournament. Do you remember what Bulldog did to me and Dorado, man? That, that sudden switch into Siege Choppers. Remember that? And he just. I do remember. That was a painful game to watch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was, yeah, just was a horrible. Game I was in such a good position. And then the Siege Choppers just. They'll do that to you sometimes. They will do that to you. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Like, so, the Soviets uh, have better air than you do? <laughs> Yep. So Frank, what? Uh, how come you're not in the intermediate tournament? Couldn't uh, <laughs> couldn't get in. <laughs> I didn't quite make uh, the cut from the uh, beginner roster. Uh, too bad there's no beginner tournaments, huh? I know, I know. But uh, yeah, you know, you got to give it up to Revel for organizing these tournaments and, and the players joining it. Uh... And it's been running smoothly, I think, uh, at least from my point of view. <laughs> The players have uh, scheduled their matches. They are playing uh, it all out, and I believe it only started a week ago. So, and we're yeah, already yeah. up to semifinals. Yeah, classic, uh, classic rival tournament. Well run, well organized. Yeah, I really hope we get to see um, uh, S Salam's new map. Uh, just for the life of me, I just cannot rename uh, name. I cannot remember the name of this map, but like. I'm telling you, it's going to be very popular within the upcoming months. Is that the Arab Arabian... Um, Arabian Oasis, Oasis. Oasis. that's Oasis. the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be played by everybody. I've seen it a lot in QM as well. Um, Real good. It's been added to QM. It's, it looks really nice, yeah. Again, I like I like the map. I like the decorator. I like everything. Uh, it's not unique, but it's very solid. It's very, very solid. Yeah, yeah, I'd say as far as generic maps are concerned, it's probably one of, if not the best, that we have. Mm -hmm. um, but to the point that I think you're trying to imply, I think nowadays we're looking for more special maps, so to speak. Uh, I mean, I don't know if... We, uh, yeah, I guess so, right? Because it's... Let's put it this way. John, it's the Dorado, thanks a lot for the raid, right? bro. Another, it's another Dorado it's descent to an extent. a lot better than Dorado, in my opinion. But yeah, but it's the same I idea, same play style, same same everything, right? The, you know what the problem is? Is those kind of maps just play the best because of the way this game works. You, unique, awesome, crazy maps generally don't play that well in this game because the game isn't that very well designed. You know what maps do play? You know what crazy maps do play well on? SFJ. Anyways, uh, what a, what a salesman. What a, I, I should just get off the microphone, guys. This, that was just cheesy, just throwing it. Out. Sorry, Revo. Apologize. I should officially uh, make uh, YouTube uh, do like uh, ads for SFJ, bro. <laughs> we interrupt this video. Yep. This video is sponsored by SFJ. <laughs> hey, what's this? Uh, what's the single grizzly for? What's uh? What do you do with that single grizzly? I don't, I don't want to talk about this build that we're looking at here from Revo. What is this? What That's is a, this? Uh, easy AI, medium AI, medium AI. This is this is medium AI build here. Um, not making any, making one minor from the war and just leaving the units that you're building AFK. Well, yeah, Bulldog. Uh, Bulldog made that one grizzly. It forced Revo to straight out go grizzlies, and then Meanwhile, Bulldog. Yeah, yeah Bulldog's well, like, all right, well, if you're not even going to attack me, I guess I'll build 20 miners. <laughs> yeah, not uh, not looking too hot for Revo at the moment. Bulldog on six miners, chilling two war patches, really strong Bulldog position. Bulldog is what is thanking Revo the gods that Reva did not pick Yuri again. <laughs> What is Revo building? He's been he's been in the same position for a long time now. What's he building? Pillbox. All right. I think, I, I think this was a good power drop placement from him, but Bulldog was just in position here. Yeah. Um, not sure. Not sure what to say. Bulldog still position. hasn't played. You're right. He still hasn't placed a building um, in a long time. 
a really long time now as the Bulldog snipes his powers, which means his low power, which means his production is at 50%. The Bulldog's power drop does get cleaned up, pretty useless power drop. Ah, tries to push in there, not sure that was the best idea. But Revo cornered into a corner, still not building anything. Low power, no power plant at all, as Bulldog makes his second War Factory. And Bulldog, you know, he's out minoring him, he's out ecoing him, he's just... Tearing him, out everything him. Um, that it, Revo did manage to stay alive there. That was a very threatening push, but he still has not built something here. Okay, there's he the V-Lab. But he's low power, Frank. He's got no power plant. Dog, that v lab should have been built a long time ago. Uh, yeah, he's still producing everything at 50%. He's going to have to make two power plants before his production goes back to normal speed. In the meantime, Bulldog with a huge Rocketeer army, huge Grizzly army. Ugh. Veteran IV as well to lead the charge. This is looking very scary here. Revo needs these kind of engagements to get back in this game. Yes, indeed. Uh, as Bulldog snipes the power again, but Revo with a very nice defense and Bulldog with lacking tank control. Bulldog, imagine if you didn't throw away your 16 GIs and you were pushing right now with 16 GIs up to your opponent's base. <clears throat> <laughs> They should not. Uh, Revo throwing gold power drop in the bottom right. Going for the sneaky one here. It doesn't work out as they normally don't. Uh, Revo is teched up though, and Mirage tanks versus Grizzlies. Well, we all know how that turns out. Yeah. yeah, indeed. So, and and now Bulldog hasn't built since that second war factory came down. He hasn't built a single thing. What is up? And Revo is back in this game officially if he can get an ore ref down in the second patch. He's out of ore here. He might just be dead for economic reasons alone. He's broke. Yeah. He's not making units here. He's, 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 he's a goner. And he made a second war factory. Not sure what that was about. As Bulldog throwing away a lot of units, though. Elite IV could get Revo <laughs> back in this game, but no. Um... Oh, and Grievo is... losing every single one of his Rocketeers to an IV on the right-hand side there. The and he loses his lab. Man. He's gonna give, he's gonna give uh, Bulldog an Elite IV on the right-hand side here. He gave him an Elite IV, so Bulldog gets an Elite IV. Loses the lab in a corner, and Bulldog makes a third War Factory. He's on 8k. Revo's broke with no good ore refinery, not teched up. Bulldog not teched up either, but in a very, very nice position with an Elite IV as well. Bulldog on 9 miners as well. Uh, God. I don't know about this. I mean, Bulldog could keep throwing engagements and still win this game. As the Elite Ivy comes in sneaking on the left. Uh, Revel does see it, sending his IFEs to counter this bad boy. Could corner it, but he brings his IFEs. Revo is just mining pennies right now. And Bulldog won't let it happen. He's like, sorry, nope. No pennies for you, sir. My army is here. <laughs> Going for the MCV, he is going to get it, of course, and that's that's definitely going to seal this game, get some Elite Grizzlies. What loses it? As that Elite IFE is in Revel space, not sure what it's doing. So, give me a number. <coughs> Would you say that this game is over times two, times three, times four? Um, what would you say? About 7.89. Uh, <laughs> interesting, interesting. I'd say about... 800 maybe 800 to 900 times over Ooh, i mean this is just yeah. this is just resign get out of this game <laughs> leave, leave the runner start from scratch that game did not go well for Rito, revo at all from from the very start to the very end there That's, that was just not his game yeah. with uh yeah i mean it started with terrible build order uh bulldog going one grizzly and revo immediately stopping his minor production and going tanks bulldog switching back into miners and his economy just blooming um, and just a terrible build, st staying in a corner, not building for how long did he not build a building there? I guess there was two questionable, um, things back to back, right? Like you said, he, there was a long period of time, minute, two minutes, where there was no structure being placed down. And prior to that, he built a small amount of miners and a large force and didn't move his force from his, his base. And his opponent just kept checking the war factory. He's like, all right, well, you're not sending anything towards me, so I'm going to keep making miners. And then um, 
and he just had double the minor count. Indeed, so very unfortunate for Revel here, choosing Country Swing as the next map and already switching to Yuri ahead of time. Bulldog switching to the Soviets, not wanting to face the Yuri as allied. Now, last time Revel did this, he did win the last Yuri game, but this is very different from Poltergeist. Oh yeah, the, the allied versus allied, you know, clearly uh, Revo doesn't, like like he just kind of said in chat, okay, so he's not he's not in practice ABA, which it, it kind of looked like he didn't have like a set plan. Whereas when he played the Yuri game, it looked like he had something planned the whole time, start to finish, you know what I mean? So I, I'm hoping to see the plan, the planned Revo here. <laughs> yeah, let's see it. So Bulldog top left, Revo on the right hand side of the map here. And Steve cheering 100 bits for SFJ. There we go. Thanks a lot, Steve. Get out of here, Steve. What do, what do you think this is? A charity case, bro? <laughs> Steve. <laughs> um, all right. So, all right, indeed. Country swing. Country swing. Is this a particularly good map for Yuri, though? Uh, country Yuri swing? players like this map. Mm. Yuri players definitely like this map. Uh, it's hard to rush on country swing. It's easy for your player to defend a rush on country swing. And as we know, Yuri is so strong late game. Mm. Like, you know, if he does good, I literally, like, you know, Woody starts off with like eight minors here on country swing. <laughs> uh, before anyone has a chance to do anything. And uh, yeah, he just, yeah. He, is it hard to rush everyone. on country swing though? Well, it's is it's it hard, hard to sustain. Hard to it's, it's no no. You can do one rush, and that's it. You can't sustain a rush. Right. If right, you're you rushing, can't... if you're rushing on country swing, it's the all-in kitchen sink. Derek Sanchez, aka the Rocker Two One Nine. All right. <laughs> exactly. If you had not been Rocker Two One Nine, you would not say that you can't rush on CS because you can fucking <laughs> rush on CS, bro. Right? Let me tell you, you can rush on CS, and it sucks yeah, when you're being rushed on CS. But it has to be all in. It has to be all in. Yeah. So why are you gonna risk that? Yeah. One minor from from Bulldog here. I don't know. Well, don't know yeah. Oh, he has to. He's being yeah. Here. Yeah. Revo was sending a uh, Lasher and uh, Get up top here. Uh, but but again, we're gonna see if Revel can do to Bulldog what Bulldog did to him. There we go. So Revel switches back into Miners now. But Bulldog, you see, Bulldog isn't gonna stay in his base, right? Yeah, he, he knows he has the stronger numbers at the moment. Uh, he's gonna try and push it. Try and we're gonna see. Yeah. This this exemplifies why players often move their War Factory uh, after early in the game on, on the map like CS, so they never go broke. Ooh, and that troll. The refinery and tire at the same time. As he continues to press. Nice micro out of Bulldog there. If Revel loses his MCB here, he is going to be devastated because Lasher's not doing anything but. The, the magical tower comes out and that attack is completely over. But Bulldog was smart. He switched back into Miners and he is now on six Miners. Uh, Revel only on five. So, yeah, let's see. So again, so Yuri player really doesn't have to worry, right, much. Rebel keeps trying to push. No, chill back in your base. You have, you know, you have one Psychic Tower in the bank and you could just go 20 miners. That's all you need. For sure. Is, is uh, one I question thing. these drones, though. What, what, are these, what are these drones here going to accomplish versus... Well, I guess if there's no Gatlin tank in the army, this could actually be really effective. He's uh, got to use them now, right? Yeah, he should be sending them in for sure. Or at least threatening to send them in, you know, making Revel back off here. Once these gats come in, they're just going to be useless. Yep. Uh, again, he can't save them for the IC. We do see the... Oh, he went low power! Low Revel power. made himself low, low power. So he lost uh, that Rhino that he was controlling. Um, Revel's not tech tough. I don't like the 5 minor strat on Revel. On the other hand, his eco is fine, so... What do I know? Genetic mutator is out. We'll see the IC come down any second now. There it is. And uh, both of these players are like sort of, you know, staring each other in the face. Not there's only exactly. three Rhino tanks, and they're out of position. If Revo, if Revo makes a move directly towards Bulldog's base, what does he do? 
Okay, he's going back now. All right, he, he's okay now. Um, that was a little scary for a moment there. Yeah, and these drones are just uh, gonna keep waiting for the IC send in, and Bulldog is gonna try to send in at an attack right after that, right? You really want your rhinos to be right behind the drones, so that before, you know, the your player has a chance of making a single mastermind, you're in his base. Ideally, um, I mean, you, you want to use this IC as aggressively as possible as well. Um, but Revo is doing a good job being active here. <coughs> Center the map, and I guess, and Bulldog once again is going for the counter attack. I don't know if this is the best idea versus your, uh, you know, one or two masterminds near these near these miners. Yeah. So the IC is ready. There we go. And this is the exactly very very close in. Oh god, not exactly like that. Uh, Revel sent his troops right into that IC. Should have been more on top of things and backed out. But yeah, Bulldog doesn't get anything done with that IC, does he? Yeah, yeah. I, like I was. I was saying I, I think that was exactly what it, what he wanted i mean could he have executed it a butt hair better perhaps but you know the ic was forced outside of his base no critical damage was done he didn't lose his mastermind or any magnetrons he'll take those all day as his psychic dominator will be far ahead of the nuke and there's some juicy targets over at bulldog's base for this dominator here and the Brutes are going to come in. I'd love to see a Yuri Prime being added in, but uh, he doesn't quite have the money for that right now. As this incoming push from the, from the Yuri player could be scary, but the flat track numbers are starting to rise. Yeah, no Mastermind in that army either. Uh, yeah, we'll actually just push this with the flat tracks as well to help deal with the Brutes. Uh, he's not. He keeps nice retreating. Disc. He's there. Oh, that disc is putting in God's work here, taking out all the drones. And he'll take this trade. I mean, uh, maybe he won't. Really but, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll take that back. Rev on three war factories, only five miners. Don't know what he's thinking exactly. He lost a lot there. Yeah, that was a bad push from Revel. Bad push from Revel. Classic uh, overconfidence push. As the IC goes down pretty close to his base, gonna go straight for the Mastermind there, target it, gonna eliminate it. As another Master... Well, there are two more Masterminds, and this is what Bulldog needs to be scared of, because the IC is gonna wear off any second now, and boom! There oh goes his God. army. We take those. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I want to see Revel spam uh, a few miners out of his War Factories. Uh, Bulldog doesn't really have enough... I guess he has the... Uh, Nuclear missile. Psychic Dominator is going to be ready in 3, 2, 1. Okay, it's ready. Uh, we're going to see if Bulldog can stop. You know, he could get two war factories here. He can get the... Uh... Yeah. Rhino's heading top right. Dominator is ready. What is the target here? That is the question, isn't it? And he takes the Rhinos. It's on the top right. He... Bulldog is left with zero. Exactly <sighs> zero rhinos. I don't know. Uh, maybe. What about these uh, these juicy wars and war refs up here? Eh? Just yeah. snipe those and take those out for me. Yeah. Probably. The IC is going to be running 3 2 1 0. He's going to use it on the drones. What? Or, or not. Okay. He's going to use it on a single tank, but and to war factories. But these discs, they're so good at sniping shit. And the flax, where are the flax? He's not targeting the MC MCV, okay. So the MCV will go down. Force shield? No force shield. Oh, too late. Oh, Second late. use the force shield. Second too late. Okay, so these discs are going to fall. But in the meantime, Revo is pressuring on the right as well. He needs those flak tracks to help deal with those masterminds, overload them. But the discs are still alive. You got to chase them down. Damage has been done here. Perhaps Revo should just back up and just build tank bunkers everywhere. Build a second MCV and just build tank bunkers, tank, tank bunkers everywhere and just go AFK. Okay. <laughs> That's also an option. Harassing Bulldog's economy here. Bulldog is not going to have a refinery on any good ore in about, what, five minutes in? Yeah. Three minutes from now, two minutes from now? Uh, as all of his miners become AFK thanks to those magnetrons. Oh. Who's come in? 
Good micro here from the Reefster. Yeah. And we're going to tie it up here, boys. Yeah, certainly looks that way, doesn't it? Steve in the chat saying, Yuri gay as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't agree more, Steve. He's looking we're talking against. About... Oh, nice oh, noob. Nice noob. <laughs> 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 that nuke, dude. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> That was... Damn, dude. Pro place. Oh, <laughs> that, that, that's got to get into clips of the yep, week. That, yep. that right there. I scrolled I back and forth out. to Revel's base, but the nuke oh went to the gas. That nuke, I swear to God, if you lose yep. this game because of that fucking nuke, I'm going to oh. shit my oh, Here we come, come the boys. The hero nuke. But one mastermind and Re Bulldog has to run, right? Mastermind right, and Gath. And one mastermind and the game's over. <laughs> <laughs> and well, all the fun is completely removed from the game. Well, what can Bulldog do? You know, he has a mastermind. He'll just send everything into the grinder right there and then. So he has to back off. That nuke was nasty. I feel like we should give Bulldog like 0.2 of a win just for that nuke. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2 to 2.2, 2, boys. Uh, Psychic Dominator is ready as well. Oh god, the Dominator is ready. He could get his only War Factory oh with that Dominator. God, yeah. Yes. Uh, no yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take that War Factory, move, remove that from the game permanently. Thank you very much. There you go. So, uh, Revel cannot... Uh, Bulldog can't produce any more units. He does still have power, so he does still have both super weapons. But, you know, every unit he loses is more unit he's never going to be able to recreate. Uh, he doesn't even have a barracks to stand infantry. Let's target the mastermind. Gets it very nice, but these brutes. Okay, the, oh, that's exactly what Revo, uh, yeah, what Revo wanted. Use the IC as far away from my base as possible. You know, I'll just dive and snipe, and every unit you lose, you're not gonna be able to remake. So I don't really give a fuck. These brutes no doing fucks some at all here from the Reeves. Generally, generally a carefully kind of guy here. As we're seeing, uh, a, pers a player's personality generally comes out in the way they play most often. The psychology of uh, Yuri Javanich, hashtag uh, listen to my podcast. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Revo with 13k, you know, just chilling, doing nothing, playing. Oh with God, these brutes play. are just pooping on these flat tracks, dude. <laughs> just dumping on them. Uh, and there's that uh, the one mastermind army there. Okay, the nukes could come down right in the center right. and get the I mean, We've already had one miracle nuke in a single game. You know, we have so many miracles and back to back. Yeah. <laughs> Problem is, Revo does have another lab, so it's not going to stop him from making masterminds. And uh, be a talk no drones. Say something like, you can resign now. Just spam <laughs> it. You can resign now. You can resign now. You can resign now. <laughs> Bond, we throw it in. F10, 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 F12. <laughs> Yeah, so again, since there are... Oh, God. And Bulldog just doesn't give up. He's going to push in here. Going to get uh, Revel's last War Factory here. Targeting the Mastermind. Nice. Going to get Revel's last War Factory. Revel not building anything. All he needs to do is get the War Factory and the MCV, and he's fine, right? Get oh, the War Factory. What am I get about? He's going to kill MCV. everything. Okay. Ooh, he's going to go back and win the game. Revel can't build anything anymore except infantry, and with that elite uh, rhino, he's gonna win. Bulldog, he's, he's gonna win. He's gonna win. Oh, psychic dominate! Oh my god! What the actual the fuck? Oh, he's got oh, the dominate. Ten seconds. Sh he's gotta capture these rhinos. Yep. Yeah, it's it's the the only way. He's got that... barracks too. He can build infantry. What is he doing? Why? Is he... Where is he going? Where is he going? Oh god. What is going is on he here? Going? Why is he retreating? I don't yeah, know. I the Dominator I is ready. The Dominator is ready. Yeah. If he gets yeah, this, I'm going to go rhino. back and sip some tea. No! no. Oh. Here, take my flat tracks. I'm going to go all the way back <laughs> to my base so you can take my flat tracks instead of killing you. What? <laughs> what? All right. Now Bulldog is going to go in. What? It's going to be miners and brutes versus miners and rhinos. Uh, we do see that the elite rhino is going to make a huge difference here. Uh, Bulldog, where are you sending these? Uh, Revo, where are you going with these brutes? Revo! Revo, bring them back! 
Uh, all right, so Bulldog's going to send his miners back to defend versus the Brutes. He's going to use the IC on the Rhino. He's going to clean up these miners, and Bulldog somehow wins this. I, oh, I don't wow. even know what to say about this game. Mm -mm. I, I'm just... Okay. What so, what the yeah. fuck? What <sighs> happened to this game? What, what? So, one of my biggest pet peeves is when a player quits prematurely. And I was sitting here whining about how Bulldog was not quitting from the game. And he won the game! <laughs> he ended up winning the game! So, practice what you preach, boys. Ah, oh, and the nuke. The nuke. Oh my god. Bro, what the? Dude, what like, the if that hell? nuke that, that he, in early in the game, if that nuke didn't happen, he would have lost the game right then and there. Yeah, for sure. True. For sure. No doubt about it. And, wow. uh, Bulldog is just going to send his one Elite Rhino to clean up these two super weapons. Even though it's not even necessary, he's got this one in the bag. Um, Rebel sending the Elite Flag Track to fight the Elite Rhino. <laughs> oh, God. And, uh, yeah. Bulldog wins this. Really? I, I literally, I don't, I don't even know what happens here. I'm that so confused. Yeah, that was a doozy. Um, yeah. So Bulldog gets the win and plus the point two for the nuke, right? So it's three point two yeah. to one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, two fish, oh. you got it right. Three point two. Yeah. I got so it, bro. can someone here tell me what just happened? Uh, it was a throwing competition. They thought they were, you know, as Matt says, in the Olympic javelin team, and they wanted to see who could throw harder. That game was staged, right? Oh, wow. Uh, They're trolling us right now? It had to be. It had to. Well, yeah, look at this, uh, this, uh, little, uh, talk here after the game. Must have been staged. And I mean, well, how did Revo lose that game, though? I don't, I don't understand. I, I don't he went know. low power. He went fucking low power. At the very end there. Yeah, he did. True. Uh, Frank, Doofus actually wrote on the scoreboard 3.2. <laughs> oh, he's getting point two, boys. <laughs> you don't see a nuke like that every day. Oh, God. That will definitely <clears throat> make it in clip of the week. The nuke that won the game. The nuke that won the game, for sure. Yeah. That was nasty and you know if i'm revo here that 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 loss would be so deflating i mean how do you brush that one off first of all if you're completely winning that game pretty much the entire game and then the only reason why he didn't die 10 minutes ago is because of the most ridiculous fucking nuke of your life and then he <laughs> ended up ended up winning him winning miraculously in the went in the end somehow i don't understand I would just be, I would just be ready to just start this game right now, quit it, and then just like back out of Command and Conquer Net Lobby, and then just like uninstall the game after that. Uh, yeah, so we have an ally versus Yuri here. I hope you turned off super weapons. I did. All yeah, right. I so Bulldog going France on Desert. Um, yeah, actually France is uh, decent on Desert, even versus Yuri, if you know how to play it. If you don't play it right, um, Super of course. Off? How, what are you gonna do? What's your plan? Well, as, as France? Uh, no, no, as no super weapons. Oh, as Yuri. What are you gonna Yuri, do? Yeah. It's simple. You just go the Woody strat, man. Spam miners, right? Keep the pressure yeah. on with your mag, with one mag and whatever you know, just to force the Allied player to make some front cannons, right? And after you have like eight nine miners you make seven war factories and then you have so many lashers that it's over you just gotta force the allied player to make some cannons that's it all right spend that money spend that money on the power spend the money on the cannons so you send like one mag or two you know Hello. and he's like haha i have a cannon to block your mag it's John C and that's what you do as you play, right? insanity uh, but yeah, yeah well, again when you're playing against france yeah you definitely want to um force as many awkward cannons as you can um definitely one of the goals so bulldog cannot win this game by sitting around and waiting for super weapons that's for sure well super weapons are off exactly we'll see we'll, we'll just we'll see what he decides to how, how he wants to go about this but he's gonna have to do things more aggressive minded well as I think you're speaking of out. aggressive grizzly's out one grizzly out yep 
scouting, maybe? Maybe the dogs are all infiltrated <coughs> by the initiates? Maybe. Uh, gonna... Yeah, you need, yeah. you need like one grizzly to deal with the gats, just because the gats destroys buildings so fast. It's insane. So, uh, this Air Force command makes no sense. Okay, it makes more sense now. He wants to stretch to get an early refinery next to the gems, but he's not getting mm -hmm. anything. There's no, uh, no power drop on the way here. Yeah. Again, what I want to see from Revo is spam, spam, spam miners. Send like tiny mm -hmm. contingents and then about, you know, seven or eight war factories because Yuri could do that. And then have so many lashers by your opponent's base that he th he just doesn't know what's what. So re these these units for Revo should be on the other side of the map right now. He's got two Magnetrons, a Gatlin tank, and a lasher tank. His opponent has a Grizzly sure. tank right now. There's for no sure. reason for these units not to be up in Bulldog's ass. Yeah, why force him to put down a cannon. Force him to spend that 2k, right? right? The Bulldog is broke, and he should be working on a second Granite Cannon right now. Okay, so Revo is on the way. He's going to try to make him pay, and Bulldog has two Grizzlies. That's not going to be enough. So I think what Revo wants he to do... He has a cannon he, ready, right? Yeah, of course he has a cannon ready. Force that and get out, then go to the other angle, and this right. other angle is going to be really annoying. He needs to get there immediately, though, before the next cannon is ready. Yeah, but Revo not going with the multi-war factory. He's teched up. He's going to try and get a disc out, maybe, you know, maybe make him go low power with the discs or something. We're going to see. Bulldog can't engage this. Yeah, I'm surprised Revo didn't immediately go around to the other side and force another Grand Cannon on the other side. I think this is a big mistake from Revo. Yeah. Yeah, again, you know, Grizzlies melt to Magnetrons, Lashers, and, uh, and Gats so easily, man. Gotta remember, their weapon is disabled while they're in the air, and they just okay. get sniped out. Mm. Not fun to play uh, when your opponent is controlling your units more than you are. Um... <laughs> The, the second cannon is ready for sure, but um, in okay. terms of like actual engagements, uh, Bulldog's in no position for one right now. Yeah, and uh, Revo is, you know, going with a classic here. build. Oh, another oh, MCV. MCV. Oh, but he's in trouble. Okay. His army is out of position. The Grizzlies are in his base. I hope he has a psychic tower. At least he's going to lose a miner here. Revo, Revo, my man, where are you? Wake up. Wake up. Uh, Psychic Tower, Psychic Tower, no Psychic Tower, no Psychic Tower. All right, going for his power, gonna make him go low power so Psychic Tower won't even help oh, at this point. A Took him way too long yep. to put it down, but Bulldog is gonna have to back off here. Uh, Revo is fine though. He mastermind. He... Oh, targets <laughs> masterminded. Oh, about to go down. Ah, it goes that's a huge down. kill. Huge kill there. He's gonna get the. Really we good value that, for these Grizzlies yeah. as well. They're getting yeah, cleaned yeah. up, but they got the Mastermind. They got all three mags. Oh, just two out of the three mags. Again, a direct engagement here would still favor the Yuri big time. Yeah, as they just start coming out. And Revo. Vogue should have another Grand Cannon. A, a little just in casey before you rest in placey here at bottom left, right? Well, there's no super up in, so he definitely has one ready. But you think you should be placing place them one. down. Place one. You got 15k. 15K. Place one yeah. just in case you before you rest in place, you did. Yep. Lost way too many games because of greed. Just place the cannon. Just place it. Yeah, no, I agree. Place cannons down, you know. Maybe maybe yeah. make some... Well, yeah, more war factories and MCVs. I don't know. That's the only area where you... That is the only area... Okay, so he's doing that now. He's gonna build a third one, and he's got plenty of Garden GIs here. These discs are not threatening at all. He definitely needs to make sure he doesn't go low power. That could be a problem. Yeah, if one and of those suddenly, discs... the super weapon's off. It, the tide's kind of turned here. Now the Allied player feels like they can camp all day, and the Yuri player feels like he eventually has to make the move. Yep, indeed. Uh, Revel down to three miners. Is that right? Four miners. Yeah, so this is getting chased off by the GGIs and the Mirage tanks coming in, doing some serious damage, melting Gravel's army. Lovely, lovely move out of Bulldog there. As he pushes in with the GGIs, needs to keep the Mirages close. But the GGIs cleaning up the Glands army as well. Switching and robot, robot tanks? As well. All right. Yeah, I have okay. a combination of them, but without the Brutes, I mean, Mirages are very effective against Masterminds if you have good micro. Uh, but all right, robot tanks are fast, you know, why not? 
you can split them around, kill some miners, kill some buildings. Uh, psychic towers won't defend against them. A lot of discs there. Now, I am scared to make any statements about a game being over here, but this is looking quite grim for Revo. Revo, interesting. Uh, Revo is dead, dead, dead. I, I, I'm not sure I agree with you there. What? I am not sure I agree with you at all. Okay, the discs shouldn't be engaging the IFVs. That's uh, that's a bad move. How many miners does Revo have? Revo currently has five. How many miners does Bulldog have? Uh, all of them inefficient. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Eight versus five. Five, five on gems. Well, four on gems now. Right? And eight long distance mining gold. I don't know, man. This game is over times five. Oh. All right. MCV goes down. GG Ice is going to push the disc right into GG Ice. He's going to die for the MCV. Going to get it. Uh. Gosh. That cannon is so annoying. Oh, oh my god. Somebody please kill this cannon. <laughs> it's right on the Rev front door. It hasn't gotten too much damage yet, but. Rebel's army is up top doing nothing, just chilling there. I mean, pretty much one cannon, though, stops. I just. The, the, grand, the cannon is just going to be so difficult for, for the Yuri units to deal with here. Yeah, what which is why is good Yuri. The cannon? No. Nothing. You need a, a com you need a combination of discs and lashers. Lashers to take care of the GGIs, and the discs to come in and, and shut down the power or whatever. But Revo's not using that strategy, right? As a Yuri player, you could spam so many miners and camp, and then make twenty thousand war factories, right? That's what Revo needs to do, and he's not doing that. Oh, elite okay, IFV. Elite GGI FV. Well, yeah, yeah, you actually want to get the GGI out of that. Every time you get an elite IFE, you want to get the GGI out of it. It's much more effective when there, there isn't a GGI in it. And Revel, what are you doing? Revel, my man, my bro, what are you oh. doing? What are you doing, man? Ah, uh, God. Well, that mastermind did some serious damage, but still. What the actual hell was that, Revel? You threw away your entire army there. <sighs> Some gap generators being thrown down as well. He's got the <clears throat> second MCV here in the middle. He's going to reestablish this base. He was just been broke all game long. Not enough miners, um, unfortunately for him. Uh, I mean, these cannons are just utterly intolerable right now. Just in the middle. Just utterly intolerable. Yeah, not very good for him, are they? Maybe the masterminds can capture some IFVs, turn this around. I don't know, man. He's forced to send his miners to the bottom left. Three cannons right in the center there, and all Bulldog needs to do is base walk and make GG IFEs. Uh, I don't like those, those IFEs are without GGIs, but I guess with that many. Yeah, the um, the exchanges just have not favored the Yuri this game. Um, he has not at one point ever had a ground force large enough to seriously take a full on engagement base, especially under the cannons. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very true. Very true. Yeah, I mean, he's just gonna go for a miracle uh, mass disc, maybe uh, get the IFVs out of position, kill them all, and then start yeah. sniping buildings, but... Uh, yeah, I, no, I, I don't know about this. It's, it's looking like a GG. I don't even think a Bulldog nuke could get you out of this one. Uh, and that brings the score to a 4-1 for Bulldog. We got Popa here watching, trying to see who he's going to face next if he gets through to the finals. And it might be Bulldog. Thank God this is almost over. <laughs> uh, reckon so. Who said, who said it's almost over? Well, it's just of nine. started, boys. <laughs> Comeback is just brewing up. Yeah, but I think that tells you something about, uh, you know, where Revo is mentally at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. Some days you're, you know, you're just not playing good and your opponent is, and it's like this, the, the rest of this series is fucking pointless. But it is a streaky game and things can turn around quick. We've seen it before. Yeah, yeah, anything can happen. Um, let's see, uh, Revel switching back to America. 
and Bulldog switching back to America. Now, AVA, we it hasn't looked good for Revo so far, but Revo is an allied player. Yeah. Um, he, he said himself that he um, doesn't play allied versus allied that much. Yeah, he said the only practice he's been getting AVA is from the Mueller. <laughs> right, right, right. That's like playing, like, this guy I know named Snark in chess, you know what I mean? Like, Oh, <laughs> Frank, I almost beat you. I almost beat you 20,000 times. Did you? Well, I, could, I, I felt like I almost beat you. Yeah. Guys, don't don't play Frank in chess, guys. He's uh, he's scary. Nice. He is scary. I also pay Snark a lot of money to, to say things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. AVA on the new jungle. What should we expect to see? I can tell you what I do not want to see is fucking Bulldog's para drop at top right trying to sneak behind Revo's base. I don't want to see it, Bulldog. I don't want to see it. Yeah, if uh, if your para drop lands, you know, if it's an offensive para drop and it lands anywhere that it doesn't need to walk, you know, a, a cons you know, a distance from the base, then you're doing it wrong. Offensive power drops are great, but they gotta so, walk. If the first power drop lands top right from Bulldog, he's losing his point too. It's, it's being removed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So Bulldog Revo again, building like medium AI here in a very, very tight little square here. Uh, this, don't know why he's become more and more popular in, in recent months. This AI build, I don't know why, but. Uh, Everybody going for it. It's like all the rage for some reason. Uh, yeah, tiny bit of lag. Yeah. Oh, looks like we're good, and uh, we're seeing the difference in builds between Revo and Bulldog. Every single AVA game, Revo goes AFC first, Bulldog goes second refinery first. Revo with a grizzly in Bulldog's base already. He went zero. He is pushing in here. Oh, hello, hello. This time though, however, Revo is waking up. He's had his coffee. He's coming. He's pushing forward. He's here. He has made nothing behind this. It's what comes, boys. Indeed, Everything in the it? kitchen sink. The Derek Sanchez Rocker 219 has been unleashed. All he needs to do is sell, him, sell his MCV and he's good to go. Here we go. Random Guardian GIs. I don't know if that's going to cut the, the, the IVs. Um, time uh, window for Revo is coming to a screeching halt here. And he's still on one miner. He's not building. Okay, he just made another refinery to get a second miner out. Bulldog in the meantime on four miners. I don't know what to say. He's dead. As we are watching a player kill himself before our eyes. That is how you lose a game, 101. Um, you don't build any miners. <laughs> I don't hate to be, uh, I know Mimo will probably be watching this back at some point. I, I hope he laughs uh, at that comment. It doesn't, uh... Yeah, I left just in case it was me. He still has an active position. Okay, so maybe you, all right, just smuggle miners behind this and catch up. You have units on the feet and you'll have an even. He's doing just that, so he's fine. Where is he? He's down a lot. Which does not help your economy situation. Shall I leave, Doofus? Uh, let's just wait for a while. Let's see. Okay. Revo still has the superior units in. And Revo's para is TR, ladies and gentlemen. Remove the point two. Get that fucking point no, two. No, no, no. It, it was screen. Bulldog's point two, right? Hey, yeah, yeah, excuse me. Bulldog's <laughs> point two. Get it off. It, it's gone. Lock that <laughs> shit off. No anti-air for Revo though. Oh. AFC goes down. Yo, Ed, what is up? How's it going, man? Revo calls GG's. Ah, uh, Revo calls GG's. Wasn't over? That was over, dude. No AA in the base. No AA yeah. in the base was down two miners. Um... Bulldog, the first player in history to lose points after winning a game. <laughs> uh, or do we, uh, or do we just give that win to Revo? Because the power was just that bad. 
<laughs> Hear my wife roaring. <laughs> so we have our first finalist of the tournament, boys, and it's Bulldog. Probably the favorite from his end of the bracket. I'll have to see what Papa does. Um, but it's shaping, it's looking like it's a Papa versus Bulldog, but um, who's Papa playing? Papa is playing, let's see, I got it. I believe he's playing Viper. Let me just double check. Where is the bracket? It's right here. And he is playing Viper in the other semifinals. Is that schedule? Do we know when that is? I do. Well, Viper, know. if you're listening, you better be grinding, buddy. Papa's <laughs> tough, dude. You, got, you better be grinding. <laughs> 